Hello. Gentleman make here. Uh, let's try that again. Hello. Gentleman make here. And welcome to the USB cork project. A customer of mine was uh, let down a few weeks ago by a supplier. Um, Hello, I'm the gentleman maker. Welcome to the USB cork project. Now, a customer of mine was let down by another supplier and they phoned me with the question, can you make 300 USB corks for a wine launch? I thought, probably. So between us, we came up with what we needed to do and they ordered me all the parts. So we ended up with, here they are, quite a lot of these, that's the, the, the standard USB memory stick a gig or two gig and uh, 450 corks I haven't got any in here corks everywhere the other day <laughs> and 450 corks, wine bottle corks, just like that uh, that gave me enough to get two lids out of one cut down the middle and then most of the body for inserting, where is it there? The uh, USB memory stick part of the gizmo thing. So this video shows how I went about cutting them all up uh, and most importantly lasering their logo in the end of the cork like that. There's a little bit of cardboard jig making uh, and lots of handwork and in fact it took so much effort I couldn't use my hands for a couple of days after doing this job. Uh, I won't make that mistake again. I'll make better jigs. So watch and enjoy. Leave a comment down below and uh, hope you find it interesting. Here's the first part of the project. I designed and laser cut a cardboard jig to hold the corks so I could then laser the logo into the end. That's the corks as they came, not going into the jig. We better speed this up. <laughs> <laughs> quite possibly the most tedious part of the whole project was uh, putting the corks in the jigs. It took three full jigs to do all the corks I had to do. And there I am. I've lasered the logo in one end, now I can turn them all over to laser the logo in the other end. Because each cork would be then cut into two. And here's another quick jig on the bandsaw to enable me to do that. Cork itself cuts really nicely with, with a saw. It's definitely not so much fun to drill. So only a, a, a hundred or so of those required to get to the... Th 150 wasn't it? That's 300 uh, divided by two. And this is the main body that the electronics will go in. Just had to slice off the very end of each of the corks for that purpose uh, because they've got a slight bevel and that wouldn't match the cut edge for the caps. We'll call it a cap or a lid. The bit that's had the logo lasered on it anyway. That part of the job. This of course, doing it 300 times. We start to go a bit doolally, so I will readily say that I was listening to podcasts as I went. And here's a, a bit more jig work. In order to hold the corks so I can put them on the drill press, I knocked up this quick plywood jig on the laser. Now I have to say of course I use Adobe Illustrator for my uh, line work, my artwork of this nature. been using it for 30 odd years and it's, it's uh, very useful. There are other alternatives of course, Inkscape being one of them. It's quite good and very similar. So I glued this jig together off camera and put a few more pieces on the drill press to give me a sliding slot so I can hold the cork still wedged in there make one drill hole, slide it along, make a second drill hole and hog out the material in the middle and the cork itself being very flexible was actually quite hard to drill I've got this particular bit, it's a bit like a uh, an end mill so it come, it's got a flat bottom in other words and there we go, look, having to blow out the cork dust, the drill didn't remove it all, and compressed air made this job a little easier. Although by drilling, you, you're also compressing the cork chippings, the cuttings, back into the hole that you're drilling, so that made it quite difficult. 
a quick round over the, the rough edge. And these little button backs here will be used on the end of the body, as you'll see later, to attach a cord. If I just rough them all up, just to give a bit of a key to the surface, so I could then super glue those on to the bottom of the cork. Again, I, I didn't show the gluing part. Uh, here's the exciting box with the components, the USB components inside it. We managed to get these um, at very short notice from a supplier here in the UK. The original supplier, of course, and, and most of the manufacture of USBs is China. And this was before the coronavirus issue, but there were still supply issues. I guess China was already starting to have a, an issue. That's how they all come. Time to bust them all out, put them in a box. Now you, you may notice that um, they've got those two little tabs at the very bottom. And if you include the length of the USB, including those tabs, they were a bit long to insert fully into the cork. So I've had to just touch them all to the, the sander there, just to knock them off. It doesn't affect the performance of the device. I tested them and, and spot tested as I went, just to make sure I wasn't having any, having any issues. Uh, some more jig time here. This is the jig, very similar to the main body jig, uh, just to drill out the um, the slot in the caps, the lids. Now this had to be slightly bigger. Uh, the USBs themselves, the uh, circuit board is held into the cork by friction alone, being a, a tight fit. Of course, what we didn't want was the lids being that tight a fit, because they would then pull the, the circuit board gubbins out of the cork. Tell me how I learned about that. <laughs> so, <laughs> having drilled all of these slots in the lids, I then had to open them all up a bit, just to be another half a millimetre wider. And making a jig like this makes that repetitive process so much easier, although I still had to use my hand pressure to clamp everything together. Here we go, I've glued the end buttons using the uh, uh, laser template again. In it goes, look. A firm push. There's two little dimples you can just see on the USB. That's the position that uh, they have to be pushed into, which is very handy. I have a few surplus ones. I'll no doubt use them for something else. And each one of them needed this little length of brown cord passing through and tying off into a knot. There's a cap. Perfect finish. The customer was very happy with this. Very happy indeed. And there you have it. 300 in total. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.